these are worldwide uh, working AI systems and uh, Europe is only one part of all these um, situations, so they are facing a lot of times around the world, but there shouldn't be a kind um, of a problem for them to use these AI systems and uh, therefore uh, we, we need to find a way forward. On the other side we have the creative sector, what is very important and uh, therefore we need to know exactly what problems they might have. Is this a kind of an out, uh, input question at first, if they are training their algorithms with already copyright protected works and what does this mean? Um, secondly, if they do not want to uh, see their material trained for their algorithms, how to protect uh, this uh, copyright uh, protected works or these copyright related works. And um, also there must be a question, if we are coming to remuneration, how can this be um, start uh, directly and how they can discover these and how we can manage these in a machine readable way and in seconds so that we have a kind of a lifetime and nothing is hindering at the end the output. So the question of input and output is playing a role if this has to be remunerated or how far we can go and then let this happen and so on. And there might be also the question about the different systems of copyright uh, regimes, what we have or what we are seeing in the EU, we have more than less three different um, copyright systems and uh, there the aspect of aligning these systems might play a role. And um, another question occurs to me also, if we have globally acting machines already should there be a kind of a global approach to it? Meaning also we are inviting some of our like-minded friends in the world so that we have not only the commission on board, um, that we, they also can hear along to this uh, what they have in mind and also what they would love. they can listen in in a kind of a consultation way or whatever it is and um, that we are also asking our international friends so the transatlantic system might play a role um, if we're coming to australia new zealand canada japan and so on um, also the like-minded friends that we have also to think about if there is a way in aligning some aspects of copyright in the interest of the AI developers. Also, what I mentioned on the EU level, um, that we have to align some aspects of the national existing copyright systems. And so this is also what we should probably try in this yeah, international dimension. Also having in mind um, there is WIPO from Geneva, there is OECD, and there's the G7 process also coming with the generative AI development. So we have a lot of issues to align. This should be a starting point and it should be um, at first produce some ideas or problems what a legislator or a moderator or however you're seeing this might be helpful with what needs to be solved.